Once upon a time, there was a mother pig who had three little pigs. The three little pigs grew so big that their mother said to them, You are too big to live here any longer. You must go and build houses for yourselves. But take care that the wolf does not catch you. The three little pigs set off. We will take care that the wolf does not catch us, they said. Soon, they met a man who was carrying some straw. Please, will you give me some straw? asked the first little pig. I want to build a house for myself. Yes, said the man, and he gave the first little pig some straw. Then the first little pig built himself a house of straw. He was very pleased with his house. He said, now the wolf won't catch me and eat me. I shall build a stronger house than yours, said the second little pig. I shall build a stronger house than yours too, said the third little pig. The second little pig and the third little pig went along the road. Soon they met a man who was carrying some sticks. Please, will you give me some sticks? asked the second little pig. I want to build a house for myself. Yes, said the man, and he gave the second little pig some sticks. Then the second little pig built himself a house of sticks. It was stronger than the house of straw. The second little pig was very pleased with his house. He said, Now the wolf won't catch me and eat me. I shall build a stronger house than yours, said the third little pig. The third little pig walked on along the road by himself. Soon he met a man carrying some bricks. Please, will you give me some bricks? asked the third little pig. I want to build a house for myself. Yes, said the man, and he gave the third little pig some bricks. Then the third little pig built himself a house of bricks. It took him a long time to build it, for it was a very strong house. The third little pig was very pleased with his house. He said, now the wolf won't catch me and eat me. The next day the wolf came along the road. He came to the house of straw, which the first little pig had built. When the first little pig saw the wolf coming, he ran inside his house and shut the door. The wolf knocked on the door and said, Little pig, little pig, let me come in. No, no, said the little pig. By the hair of my chinny chin chin, I will not let you come in. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in, said the wolf. So he huffed and he puffed and he huffed and he puffed. The house's straw fell down and the wolf ate up the first little pig. The next day, the wolf walked further along the road. He came to the house of sticks, which the second little pig had built. When the second little pig saw the wolf coming, he ran inside his house and shut the door. The wolf knocked on the door and said, Little pig, little pig, let me come in. No, no, said the little pig. By the hair of my chinny chin chin, I will not let you come in. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in, said the wolf. So he huffed and he puffed and he huffed and he puffed. The house's sticks fell down and the wolf ate up the second little pig. The next day, the wolf walked further along the road. He came to the house of bricks, which the third little pig had built. When the third little pig saw the wolf coming, he ran inside the house and shut the door. The wolf knocked on the door and said, Little pig, little pig, let me come in. No, no, said the little pig, by the hair of my chinny chin chin, I will not let you come in. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in, said the wolf. So he huffed and he puffed and he huffed and he puffed. And the house of bricks did not fall down. The third little pig was too clever for him. The end.